Hello everyone. Welcome back to our environmental science video series. Today we are beginning a very important topic natural resources. So what exactly are natural resources? Natural resources include all the essential materials, energy sources and environmental processes that are available in nature and help support life on earth. This include everything from air, water, soil, minerals, forest to sunlight and fossil fuels. These resources are the backbone of life for human, animal and plant alike. They are vital for human survival. For example, we need water to drink, air to breathe and food to eat. But beyond that, these resources are also key driver of economical development. They provide the raw material for industry, agriculture, construction and transport. However, it is important to understand that the way we use and manage these resources determine the health of our environment. If we overuse or misuse them, it could lead to pollution, scarcity and harm for future generation. So sustainable management is essential. Forest resources. Let us now turn to our first category of natural resources. Forests are often called the lungs of earth and rightly so important oxygen and carbon dioxide regulation forest and pr produce oxygen through photosynthesis which is essential for all living organism at the same time they absorb carbon dioxide helping to balance atmospheric gases and fight climate changes number two biodiversity hotspot forests are home to an enormous variety of species including plants, animal and insect along with microorganism. This complex ecosystem play a crucial role in maintaining biodiversity which is essential for ecological balance and resiliences. Water regulation. Forests help in regulating the water cycle. The trees absorb rainwater and slowly release it into the river and groundwater system preventing both flood and drought. Number four, soil protection. Tree roots behind bind the soil, preventing erosion. They reduce the impact of rain on the soil and leaf litter enriches the soil with organic matter, maintaining fertility. Number five, economics value. Forests provide us with timbers for construction, paper for education and packaging fuel wood for cooking, medicinal plants for healthcare and even food like fruits, nuts and honey. They are a crucial source of income and livelihood for many communities. Over exploitation. Unfortunately, forests are under serious threat due to over exploitation. The uncontrolled logging, rapid agriculture expansion and widespread urban development are leading to excessive deforestation. When forests are cut down at a rate faster than they can regenerate, the ecosystem gets damaged. Causes of deforestation Agriculture expansion Forests are cleared to make way for crops and pastures. Illegal logging Trees are cut down unlawfully for timber and firewood. Infrastructure development. Roads, dam and building and roads encroach upon forest land. Mining. Extracting minerals require clearing large forested area. Consequence of deforestation. Loss of biodiversity as habitat are destroyed. Disruption of water cycle that lead to reduce rainfall. Increased carbon emission due to loss of carbon sink. Soil degradation as protective trees covered is removed. Next we have water resources. Water covers nearly 71% of earth surface and all of it together form hydrosphere. This include ocean and sea, river and lakes, glacier and ice cap, ground water, water vapor in the atmosphere. Water constantly circulate through the water cycle. It evaporate 
from surface condense into cloud fall as precipitation and infiltrate the ground this cycle is essential for replenishing water sources but here is a shocking fact only 2.5% of earth water is fresh water and much of it is locked in glacier underground that means only a tiny fraction which is about 1% is easily accessible for drinking farming and for industry over utilization of surface and ground water unfortunately we are over using both surface and ground water surface water from river lakes and reservoir is heavily used for irrigation industries and domestic purposes ground water is extracted through wells bore well it is lifeline in area where surface water is insufficient however excess withdrawal is causing aquifer to dry up land is sinking due to the loss of underground water a phenomenon known as land subsidence water quality is also declining the consequence is included like reduce availability of water for people and animal increase competition and conflict over water rights negative impact on ecosystem agriculture and future water security let us talk about flood flooding is a natural process caused by heavy rainfall melting snow and hurricane but human activity like deforestation and urbanization may flood more frequent and severe impact of flood damage to infrastructure like homes bridges and road loss of human life and displacement of community contamination of water resources due to mixing with sewage and industrial waste management measure building improved drainage system to carry away excess water constructing flood barrier reforestation to improve water absorption better urban planning to mitigate flood risk in contrast to flood we also face drought drought uh, occur where there is a long term shortage of rainfall it is made worse by global warming loss of forests over use of water resources its impact crop failure led to sh food shortages water scarcity affect drinking sanitation and irrigation famine and livestock loss in rural area economic hardship and migration My management efficient water uses and storage system use of drought resistant crop water conservation method like rain forest rain water harvesting strong climate policies at national and global levels next is mineral resources classification of minerals minerals are naturally occurring substances found in earth crust they are essential for modern infrastructure and everyday life the first one is metallic minerals these include iron copper gold aluminum and silver they are shiny good conductor of electricity and widely used in construction electronic machinery and transportation number 2 non metallic minerals these include limestone gypsum and salt they are generally softer and non conductive they are used in construction agriculture and food processing number 3 is fossil fuel these are minerals like coal oil and natural gases they are formed from ancient organic matter and are burned to produce energy however they release carbon dioxide and other pollutant contributing significantly to air pollution and climate changes over exploitation of mineral wealth as our need for mineral grow we are facing serious over exploitation excessive mining and extraction are leading to resource depletion as some minerals are non renewable and finite habitat destruction where ecosystem are wiped out for mining operation 
pollution especially from mining waste and chemical if mining is done irresponsibly it can leave long term scar on environment and nearby community environmental effect of mining mining have severe negative impact on the environment like uh, land degradation forest and topsoil are removed leading to erosion and habitat loss water pollution harmful chemicals from mines known as uh, contaminant rivers and groundwater this affect aquatic life and human health air pollution dust and harmful gases released during mining reduce air quality and cause breathing problems climate change the process of mining and burning fossil fuel contribute to greenhouse gases emission intensify climate change food resources global food challenges let us now explore food resources and the global challenges we are facing like uh, population growth as the global population increases the demand for food also rises this strain our agriculture system climate change irregular rainfall drought and extreme temperature affect crop production and food availability inequality while some people waste food other suffer from hunger and malnutrition unequal distribution and access to food are major problem impact caused by the agriculture and overgrazing agriculture and livestock grazing are essential but when overdone they lead to several problem like soil degradation over farming and grazing remove essential nutrient from soil making it less fertile and more prone to erosion loss of biodiversity large scale farming and deforestation reduce the variety of life in the area water depletion irrigation large field and maintaining livestock use up huge amount of water leading to groundwater exhaustion effect of modern agriculture modern agriculture has greatly increased food production but it comes with serious side effect like chemical inputs farmer use large quantity of synthetic fertilizer pesticide and herbicide to enhance crop yield however these chemicals can degrade soil quality pollute water bodies and pose health risks to human and wildlife monoculture farming this is the practice of growing in a single type of crop over large area it may be efficient but it deplete so specific nutrient in the soil increasing pest and disease and reduce biodiversity genetic modification genetically modified crops are engineered for better yield and pest resistance while they help increase food supply they are concerned about their long term effect on health the environment and traditional farming practices fertilizer pesticides problem the overuse of fertilizer and pesticide lead to several environmental and health issues like water pollution when fertilizer run off into the nearby river and lakes they cause eutrophication and overgrowth of algae that deplete oxygen and kill aquatic life soil contamination excessive use of these chemical can make soil toxic reduce microbial activities and lower its fertility over time health risks residue from pesticide can enter the food chain and drinking water long term exposure is linked to the serious health issues like cancer hormone disruption and neuro- neuro- neurological problem next is energy resources Let us now look at the energy resources as the global population and industries grow so does the demand for energy most of our energy still come from fossil fuel like coal oil and natural gases these are non renewable 
meaning they can run out and their use release pollutant that can cause climate change. To meet future needs sustainability, we must shift to alternative cleaner energy sources like alternative energy sources. Here are some important alternative energy sources that can reduce our dependence on fossil fuel like solar energy. Capture sunlight using solar panel to produce electricity. It is clean, abundant and renewable. Wind energy. Wind turbine convert wind movement into electricity. Ideal in windy region, it produces no emission. Hydro power. Use flowing or falling water from river and dam to generate electricity. It is reliable but can be disrupt aquatic ecosystem. Land resources. Land is a vital resource that support various human activities like uh, agriculture. Land is primarily used for growing crops and raising animal. It support food production and rural livelihood. Urbanization. As cities expand, land is converted into residential area, road, factories and commercial spaces. This help economic development and but reduce natural habitat. Conservation area. Some land are reserved for wildlife, sanctuaries, national park and forest. These area help preserve biodiversity and maintain ecological balance. Land degradation. Human activities are causing land degradation, reducing its quality and productivity. Soil erosion, deforestation and overuse of land remove topsoil, reducing the land ability to support crops. Desertification, in dry region, loss of vegetation and water led to land turning into desert. It's a major issue in semi-arid region. Pollution. Chemical from farm and factories pollute land, making it unsuitable for farming and harmful to nearby community. Landslide. Landslide are sudden movement of rock and soil down a slope. They can be caused by natural causes like heavy rainfall, earthquake and volcanic activity can destabilize land especially on hill. Human cause. Deforestation. Unplanned construction and mining weaken the soil structure and increase the risk of landslide. Impact Landslide can destroy home, block road and cause injuries or death. They also disturb natural habitat. Soil erosion Soil erosion is a major land problem. It is happened when the top layer of soil is uh, removed by wind, water and human activity. Some causes like cutting down trees, overgrazing by cattle, intensive farming, poor land management. Some of the consequences are loss of fertile land, decline in crop yield, greater risk of flooding due to exposed soil. Some mitigation like terracing, building steps on slope to slow water flow, planting trees to hold soil, changing crops each season to improve soil health. Decertification. Finally, we have decertification. This is the process where fertile land becomes desert mainly due to the climate change, deforestation, overgrazing, unsustainable farming. Some of the impact are reduced food production, hunger and poverty, people being forced to migrate. Some privations are sustainable farming methods, reforestation, soil conservation technique. So, protecting our land resources is crucial for health and sustainable future. So, we have covered forest, water, mineral, food, energy and land resources. They are used issues and ways to manage them wisely. Now, I will end this video here. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe for more educational content. See you in the next one and remember, let's take care of our earth together.